Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a write on text using HitFilm Express. So let's get started. First, open your HitFilm Express and create a new composite shot. I'm going to change the duration to 5 seconds and frame rate 30 with this 1920 pixels and height is 1080 pixels. Then create a new text layer and change the size to the width of 1920 pixels and height of 1080 pixels. And select the text tool and type in your text. Then go to text dialog over here and, and increase the size of the text and make it visible. And then I'm going to change the font type to Luna. And I'm going to reduce the size of the font to fit inside the canvas. And I'm going to increase the spacing and align it to the center. Then go to controls and change the position of the Y value to make it to the center. Then go to media tab. And I'm going to rename this composite shot to text. And I'm going to add another composite shot. I'm going to name it as write on. Then drag this text composite shot into that write on composite shot timeline. Now we are going to add the mask and, and animate the path of the mask to make it look like it is writing the text. We are going to make the mask to write the text. First, I'm going to add a circular mask near the F. and select the freehand mask tool and I'm going to add notes between the notes. Make sure we are on the first frame on the timeline. Then go to control tab, drop down this mask and drop down this transform of this mask and add keyframe for path. Then move five frames forward and I'm going to zoom in the timeline. Now I'm going to transform the path to make the upper portion of the F visible. To move one frame forward, we need to press the dot key on your keyboard and to move a frame backward, we need to press comma key on our keyboard. Then move five frames backward. Move forward frame by frame and adjust the mask so it look like it's writing the text. Then move another five frames forward and now we are going to transform the path to make the down portion of the F visible. Don't add any additional nodes in between. Now again move 5 frames backward, then move frame by frame using the comma key and dot key on your keyboard. Then adjust the mask so it look like it writing the text. Then I'm gonna change the mask name to F1. Now we need to add the horizontal line for this F. So I'm going to add another mask. And add the keyframe for path. Then move 5 frame forward and make the horizontal line of the F visible. So it's look like writing the text already. So we don't need to frame by frame. 
I'm going to change this mask name to F2. Now if we play the video, we can see the mask is writing the text F. Now hide this F1 and F2 mask to show all the letters. Now we are going to add the mask animation for this ampersand. So I'm going to add the circular mask first. And then select the free mask tool and I'm going to add nodes between these nodes. And add a keyframe for the path. And I'm going to rename this mask as ampersand. Now I'm going to move five frames forward and transform this mask to make the top portion of the ampersand visible. Now move 5 frames backward and move frame by frame to animate the mask to look like it writing the text. Now I'm going to again move forward 5 frames and make the bottom portion of the ampersand visible. And again, I'm going to move five frames backward and animate the mask frame by frame to look like it's uh, writing the text. Again, I'm going to move five frames forward and and make the remaining part visible and again move five frames backward and animate the mask so that it look like it's writing the text now hide the ambassador mask layer 2 and now we are going to animate the mask for the letter D. So I'm going to do the same process for the letter D as we did for other two letters. Now make all the mask visible again and come to the starting frame so there is the error in mask d and mask ampersand this is because i may accidentally added some nodes 
to the mask while editing. So we need to rectify that by going frame by frame and transform the path. So I rectified this error. Now I'm gonna play this mask animation. So it's look like the mask writing the text. Now go to this editor's timeline and add a video on one of the layer. And I'm gonna drag this right on text composition and place it above the video layer. And I'm gonna reduce the scale to fit inside the canvas. Now I'm going to play the video. So it's look like writing the text. Now you can also change the blend mode of this text by going to controls, clip properties and change the blend mode. Use trial and error method and select which blend mode is suitable for your video. For this video, the exclusion blend mode is looking good. Now I'm going to play the video. So that's it. We just created the write on text effect using HitFilm Express. Now I'm gonna trim the video size to 5 seconds. Now I'm going to export the video. Go to export and, and click on export. Then contents. And now you can also change the file name. I'm gonna change it to write on text and click on save. Click on start exporting. Now I'm going to play the video and you can see the write on text effect. So that's it guys. This is the way you can create the write on text effect using HitFilm Express. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more future tutorials. Also press the bell icon so that you can get quick notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching. Bye.